So now we've started to get our document together. We've got our nice header here and we've got a picture. What we might want to do though is we might want to put in quite a lot of text. So I'm going to draw a text box and I'm going to put it in here and I'm just going to paste in some text that I've got off of uh, Microsoft Word. Now you can see you've got the little dot 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 here. That means there's too much text to fit in the frame. So I can make the frame bigger and that's fine. Now I've also got a columns button here so we can make it appear more like a newspaper. When we do this and we resize the text box you can see that the columns adjust. Again if I take my picture and put it in a column like this and what I just need to do is bring that to the front you can see that the text in the column wraps around it. It will only do this if it's actually in front of the picture. If I send this backwards it will be behind the picture like a background and so it won't flow around it. I'm going to put my picture back up here. Now one of the things that you'll notice in good design is that you'll have things that line up. So we've got a vertical line through here and through here and we've got some horizontal lines. So maybe we want to put in some text that's going to act as a strap line just down here. We want it to line up. We can actually come up to the top and we can create guides. So that's one line and that's another guideline there. And I'm going to pull in a guideline here like that and pull in another one whoop, for this column like that. Now what this means is we can start to work on getting our document into shape. So if I want to put in some text here and I want to say uh, issue uh, one uh, and let's sell a little magazine for £5.99. Remember the F9 key takes you in like that. Now if I want this to start to look better what I can do is I can for example text fit best fit like this and you'll see that it starts to key in to this line down here. So I'm just going to make sure that's to that line and I'm going to set the margins of the box to none. And there we are. So now if I set a background colour on that text box, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to select format text box and the colour is going to be in green like that. You can see that it's filling this square here which is lining up with the bottom of my image. Now I'm no designer but this is how the pros do it in terms of getting things to look good. We could also add another bar down the bottom with information about the publisher and this kind of thing. We can also add a drop cap here and you can see that already it starts to look like a proper newsletter. Join me for more tips next time.